friends, Joe here at Reverb.com. We are sitting here at Lincoln Tap Room in Chicago, a place where many singer-songwriters have come to perform. As a solo performer myself, uh, oftentimes I'm showing up to a gig uh, with only a guitar in my hand. You solo performers can relate to this. One of the biggest obstacles is uh, pulling off your performance, not necessarily knowing what gear they have at the venue. Maybe they don't have any, maybe there's a sound guy, maybe not, you never know. Wouldn't it be nice if there was something compact and easy to use where you know that you could pull off your sound in any venue? That's why we're excited to show you this Boss Acoustic Singer Pro. Now, some other companies have made stuff similar to this, uh, Fishman and LR Bags, to name a few. But this thing has some really cool features, including a looper and a harmonizer, which is scarily accurate to the way that two people harmonize with each other. It also has built-in effects, including chorus, delay, and reverb, and these are boss effects that we already know and love. There are two versions of this amp, the Acoustic Singer Pro and the Acoustic Singer Live. Today, we're gonna be showing you the bigger version, the Acoustic Singer Pro. Same features, same great sound, more power. So this thing has two channels, two inputs here, one for guitar and one for mic. It has phantom power, buttons for decibel pad and acoustic resonance. We've got our volumes and EQs, bass, middle, and treble. We have uh, anti-feedback notch knob, which is super helpful always for an acoustic performer. And then on the mic channel, we have delay and echo, and we have reverb. And then on the guitar channel, we have two different types of chorus and a reverb as well. On the back of the amp, there are DI line outs for both channels, and that's what you're actually hearing right now. Other features include various foot switch controls where you can have full compatibility over your looper or your harmonizer. It has USB out plugged directly into your computer or DAW, and it also has a headphone out. And this section over here is the harmonizer section and looper section. We're going to hear both of those in a minute. Let's just hear some guitar tones first. So off the bat, we hear nice uh, natural resonance happening. The reverb sounds nice and open, which in my opinion is the hardest thing to get out of these acoustic kind of like all in one PA amps. Okay, let's catch the full range of these effects a little bit. Uh, we heard quite a bit of reverb there. I'll bring it down a little bit and then take it to the max. Check out the chorus. And then the second type of chorus. and reverb happening now. So there is a three band EQ on both channels. Uh, so you can kind of carve out your tone there, your guitar tone, and if you are running into some feedback problems, the anti-feedback notch knob is really useful. And depending on your room, the space and all that, you can kind of carve that out, notch it out, so to eliminate your feedback, super helpful. Okay, let's talk about the vocal channel. And before we really get into the vocal effects on the channel, I wanna dive into the harmonizer because I think it's the coolest feature on the amp. And I think it's freaky how this thing tracks what your guitar is doing and what your voice is doing. Let's check it out. The harmonizer has three different types, high, unison, and low. So the high creates a high harmony, unison doubles, and the low creates a low harmony. Seems like the default here on the high harmony setting is that it produces a major third above your voice. Okay, so in other words, if I sing a G, what you're gonna hear is, you're gonna hear that note come out, okay? Uh, 
It's just me up here. Now, beyond that, what's super cool is that it has the tonality of G in there somewhere. So if I sing a third, it's gonna pick up on the fifth. It's gonna hit this note. So I'm gonna hit this, and it's gonna pick up here. So not only does it track a specific interval above your voice, it also tracks the tonality of the key that you're singing in. And it recognizes chord structure. That's pretty scary. Now, if I play a minor chord, it's gonna track that. Instead of singing a major third above my note, it's gonna sing a minor third. So it's gonna sing this. Very intuitive. Okay, so to get a little more perspective here, uh, we've got fellow singer-songwriter here, Josefina Ascanape. Josie, how are you? Hey, Joe. How you doing? I want to simultaneously test out the looper function as well as singing. While you're singing, I'm going to dial in some reverb, some delays, and uh, let's see how that, that all works out. Cool? Sounds good. There you have it folks, the Acoustic Singer Pro and Acoustic Singer Live from Boss, something that every solo performer should probably want to have. Josefina, thanks so much for coming. Thanks for having me. This is fun and there's people coming in now, so should we just play a gig? Let's do it. <laughs> oh, since the day